Really with this style, I'm concentrating on the edges more than anything. Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to FSC, I'm Danielle Downs and today I'm gonna be doing a bun hawk. The great thing about it is all you need are some ponytail clips, uh, a ponytail holder, sorry, um, a little bit of pomade, and just stretch the hair out. You can use this with a little bit of texture or you can straighten it out a lot. It's very versatile. But anyway, let's get into it. So first I like to prep the hair with a little bit of the Awapui Moisture Mist from Paul Mitchell. It's a great product for rehydrating and giving some moisture and reactivating product that's in the hair. Also, little side note, it's actually great for setting makeup. So if you're feeling a little hot, like I am right now, spritz yourself, it's a great thing. Next, I like a little bit of leave-in treatment. This is new from the Paul Mitchell Clean Beauty line. Then I like to go in with the Paul Mitchell Relaxing Balm. This is another great product for helping to smooth down texture where you can enhance it, you can completely straighten it, but it's great because it's also humidity resistant. Okay, so again, just loosely finger combing that through the hair. Because really with this style, I'm concentrating on the edges more than anything, because seeing as how I'm gonna be pulling this up into a ponytail, I wanna make sure that just my edges are nice and smooth. And then last but not least, my tried and true favorite from the beginning of my career is Super Skinny Serum. And now I'm ready to give that just a little rough blow dry. Just know that you don't have to do a specific order with things, but just know why you need to start off with a certain thing or end with a certain thing. Now I'm going to do my sectioning for my ponytails. This one I think I'm gonna do like three easy ponytails. And you can make your partings however you'd like. I'm gonna do mine on just like a slight little diagonal there. Now I had mine parted down the middle just to make it a little bit easier for myself when I'm sectioning this using a little reference point of right in front of the ear. Okay, and now my next little section there. This is something that is super easy and it's a great style to do when you wanna just make sure that you're keeping the hair protected, so yet another protected style, but also you don't wanna create any type of tension in the hair, this is just more of a temporary style that can last like a couple of days depending on how you would maybe tie this up at night with a scarf or a bonnet or something just to make sure that it stays. But this is pretty much to help you avoid something that is known as traction alopecia, which traction alopecia is something that happens from wearing a lot of different styles um, very tight and causing a little bit of pulling on the hair. Okay, so now that I've got my sections done, now I'm gonna go in with Maverick Original Pomade. This is gonna help to just smooth those edges and make them nice and slick and keep them in place. Now for this version, I do want to keep a little bit of natural texture through there, so I didn't completely straighten it. I wanted to see a little bit of wave. Now I like to use a boar bristle brush. Boar bristle is great because then it helps to move the product around, but also it's softer on the hair strand. All right, and now just getting 
my ball of ponytail holders here. I usually like to use the larger elastics just because then I'm not gonna create too much tension on the hair itself. And just wrap that around, but you can also do the bobby pin method of putting two bobby pins in so that way that'll secure it and then you're not gonna be having to like keep your tension even for wrapping that. In the front here, you can actually use your tail comb and you can just give a little pull to the front here just to loosen it up and give a little bit more texture. Just going to brush through the ponytails. So now you can see we got the beginnings of our little mohawk here. And now, just going to take some bobby pins. And I'm just gonna twist these down because this is going to be the base that the Kinecolon hair is going to hold on to and what I'll be wrapping it around. So I'm just gonna make a little bun here. Now I don't open that up because I'm not trying to grab the hair or large sections of it. I'm just trying to secure it. Whenever you're opening your bobby pin is when you wanna grab a larger section. So something like this section where I can grab that and tuck that in. So when you're buying this Kinecolon hair, it usually comes in a pack like this. Now you can use that straight out of the pack if you want something that is like really, really thick and high drama going on. I'm gonna use a couple of different sizes. So I'm just gonna use the rubber band that's already in there to just wrap around. Cause like I said, this is your temporary option. Okay, so I'm just pinning that after wrapping the elastic around. Now this particular one I decided to braid and you can do them curly, you can do them wavy braided, some of them come with texture already. With this hair, because it's plastic, basically what you wanna do is you're using hot water or you're using actual like um, braiding techniques, twisting techniques, because otherwise if you use heat, you're gonna melt it. So usually when setting this hair, um, there's hot water involved, like steaming boiling hot to actually set the hair and keep it in place. Okay, so now, we're simply just wrapping that around each ponytail. And that's it. Now, if your section is really tight, then usually I'll twist that just to marry it around the rest of the bun there. You can even cut some of that off, totally up to you. And then I'm just securing that right underneath, hiding the tails and pinning those down. And then I'm just finding any little areas that aren't working for me and pinning those down just to make sure that I've got a nice even balance. So that's where I just wrap that around and pull through just to make a quick, easy little knot there. And then I wrap that around. Now this one, it's a different color. And for this one, I'm gonna do a different texture. So instead of braiding, I'm just gonna be twisting, just so you can see the different looks that you can get with it. Okay, so now that is just our typical little rope braid. Now I'm just going to secure that.
Now, the other great thing with the Kanekalon hair is that it comes in all different textures. So you can actually use more of an Afro texture with this too. It doesn't have to be just like twisting, braiding, or creating a texture. Okay, and now, because my last section is really large, I'm just gonna be using this entire west of hair. Bunhawk. So you can go in with like little hair cuffs and accessorize that way. And this is our finished product with our Bunhawk. 